Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Virgo. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Virgo, I'm doing your reading with my triple stack of cards blended into one. So you will see a mix of three decks in your spread today. So we've got the ancient oak spirit um, on the split there, which has just got so much messaging in it. It's talking about the trees again. The tree energy is just um, <laughs> volcanoes. Okay, so the tree energy is talking about something, a consciousness, a voice, an individual, a group, some sort of a, um, an expression that has been kind of dormant or recessive or, you know, non-acting. It's been silent or quiet, right? But with the volcano card coming next to it, it's like, it's talking about that that is changing now. So those are, those are the energies that are, um, according to the cards that are on the table here, well, it, it does include you as well, in a sense. It does include you. It includes you and, and somebody or something else that you are witnessing and being motivated or inspired by, right? So it's almost like, this volcano energy is uh, almost moving through the collective, starting for you, Virgo, within somebody, I wanna say that is very close to you, that is making a really bold move right now. And I think that it's really inspiring you, right? It's really, it's definitely kind of got you alert and has your attention. So, I mean, they could be representing this oak spirit for you, like somebody who's been um, very reserved or, humble or, you know, quiet for maybe the entire time that you've known them. And now suddenly they are extremely vocal or at the forefront. And it's um, something to behold, I want to say. Okay. So the creativity oracle for Virgo as an overall energy. Overall energy for Virgo. Nurture. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this. So this card is called Nurture. And it's interesting because I would, it's, uh, this being your overall energy is very soothing because I'm seeing like, Something's going on with this Oak Spear energy in your vicinity. I, like I said, I want to say it's somebody that you care deeply for. And it seems to be kind of activating with you this desire to embrace them or encourage them or support them in some way, which is definitely coming through in this energy. So this it's interesting because this card is actually talking about on the back here about self-care, nurturing yourself as you would a child, but I'm actually seeing this nurture energy as um, the energy that is moving through you in response to what is happening to somebody nearby. Okay, so because you've got you're starting with the <clears throat> the renewal energy here with the with the frog spirit, and I'm seeing this as you feeling kind of a renewed spark or interest or it's a renewal of your investment perhaps that is being triggered by like i said with the chariot and the ace of fire by the bold action or movement of another it's you're finding it incredibly inspiring they must be acting out of pure inspiration and therefore like i said it's almost contagious right it's like that energy of the volcano is spreading through um is being kind of it's almost like a like a domino effect, right? Whoever is driving this chariot right now, um, which I want to say is the oak spirit, really interesting, the oak spirit, the silent wise one who is now very in the forefront, making a bold statement or move. It's almost like as they're passing by or through or being witnessed by you specifically, Virgo, it's like bringing this renewed, you know, ace of fire to you, to everybody that is, is a witness to this phenomenon, but specifically you. I want to say that this is somebody, like I said, near and dear to you. I'm saying that mostly because the trust card is coming out beneath the chariot and it was coming through as like that this is somebody that you intrinsically trust, which is just bringing in this idea of, first of all, 
absolute integrity, especially if they're that oak spirit, but also this um, feeling of in this time that we are in where in incredible discernment is required in absolutely everything, it's almost like whoever this is in the chariot energy is somebody or something that you never ever have to question. There's an intrinsic trust there that has never wavered. That's what that trust card is talking about for me. So to see somebody that is so um, uh, standing in integrity perhaps, or maybe somebody that you have been side by side with throughout your lifetime, however this is, is touching your life, um, but to, to see them acting in this bold way or making this big move, it's, it's almost like it's bringing uh, life back to you and your experience. So, which is really interesting because we've got the, the hangman and the earth or home energy coming next. And it's coming through something like Virgo, maybe because of your earthy energy, that could be what the home is talking about here with the earth there. Um, it's talking, it's kind of coming through with this message of like not being stagnant necessarily, but just having been kind of in an experience that hasn't seen a lot of movement or change in some time. It's coming through actually as very comfortable, right? With this energy here, it's almost like you are, your life is set up. You have a strong foundation, a supportive family, perhaps. You have um, all of your material needs are being met. You have an abundant life, a stable life is how that's coming through. That could be what the hangman energy is talking about. It's not talking about this traditional kind of in limbo or stuck energy. It's actually talking more today, Virgo, about the position that you are holding at the moment is actually one of comfort and um, because of that, there hasn't been a lot of dynamic energy or event happening in your life recently because it's like everything is just kind of okay. Everything is fine the way it is. You've got everything that you need. Therefore, in that sense, you know, like I said, you haven't necessarily, there's been nothing in your life that has been triggering any sort of big action or movement on your part because you kind of have everything worked out. You see what I'm saying? But witnessing this, this, this passion being ignited in this friend or partner of yours is what's triggering this renewal of your spirit. It's kind of like finally something interesting or inspiring is occurring. You see what I'm saying? Because the seven of the seven of fire coming next, this seven of fire talks to me about a return of magic. I know the seven of wands talks about can talk about kind of conflicting or challenging energy, but with this visual here in this card, it always talks to me about a return of magic, right? So this person or their actions is bringing back into your life this desire, this, um, it's almost like this spontaneous or intuitive kind of wanting to rise up to meet it because it's feeling very magical to you. It's like the magic is returning to life at this moment because you are witnessing this one moving through this transformation or like I said you may have had um, a very profound understanding of the strength and wisdom and resource of this of this one but to see it actually be um, kind of unleashed with full force is really enlivening you right so it's got this it's like this energy, right? Wanting to rush in and embrace or support or um, maybe just encourage or just allow them to understand that you, that I want to say actually that you understand maybe even on a deeper level than, uh, what am I trying to say here? There's kind of this indication here, Virgo, that you have access to energies, consciousnesses, um, dimensionality that may not be kind of commonplace. And so what you are seeing in this experience or this, this movement of this friend of yours is that could be actually what this is at the end here. It's almost like not only are they triggering in you this desire to embrace them with this nurture card, but there also seems to be this desire for you to um, meet up with them to join them perhaps or to it's almost like you have a message to deliver them I'm just skipping to the end here with this truth raven card here it's almost like you want to rush in and maybe communicate to them whatever this is that I'm trying to articulate here with the soul passion 
card here, the trust, that's that friendship energy. It's also the crystal cave, which is significant, and the rainbow miracles card, right? So there's something here, and this is why I'm saying, it's like you have this ability to perceive deeper or the magic maybe, right? It's like you're understanding something about this scenario that is really renewing your spirit, right? And I want to say it's something like perhaps being able to perceive the divinity of this action or this movement or the timing of it. It's like Virgo has this insight because of the crystal energy, okay, because of the crystal cave and this waterfall miracles card, it's talking to me about, especially with this eye, it's almost like you, something is going on in this scenario. Maybe it just has to do partly with the fact that you are so um, maybe intimate or well acquainted with this individual and seeing this stepping forth in them is really a magical occurrence in some way. It's almost like you always knew they had it within them but the fact that you're seeing it kind of being broadcast or displayed where everyone else can perceive it is just really um, heart activating for you perhaps. But there's something here about, you know, all of this kind of water and crystal and light. It's almost like you can see an aspect of it with this rainbow energy that is maybe, maybe it is, I don't want to necessarily say it's not apparent to others, but there, there's something about it that is, you know, because it has this crystal energy in it, what am I trying to say? It's almost like I'm kind of getting this vision almost of like Virgo holding this crystal, kind of peering, th peering through the crystal at everything that occurs, okay? It's almost like using the crystal itself as a lens to survey events or to sur survey the landscape. You see what I mean with these two energies here? It's like you're peering through the crystal energy and this waterfall miracle is your friend being activated or whatever is going on. It's, it's like that's it. That's the signal or that's what you've been looking for or you know what I mean? Because you're looking through that it's like almost like seeking it's like you're seeking that prism, you're seeking that rainbow effect, and it's happening now with this friend of yours, and that's why this renewal energy is coming for you. It's almost like this is this is actually what I've been waiting for with the hangman energy. Virgo is saying, this is what I've been, it's almost like you've been kind of settled in your comfortable nest here, just kind of in your comfortable cave perhaps, kind of surveying, waiting for something to hit that crystal in just the right way that is some sort of a signal for you that, that what? That you should rush in and encourage and communicate whatever it is that you are, whatever truth it is that you are holding on to, okay? Because that seems the really significant, powerful, powerful aspect here is that not only are you in support of this situation, but you have something critical, perhaps some key element that that will maybe just set this off even more. It's almost like the the um, the jewel and the this the the jewel that finishes the entire that really sets it off, right? So with the two of air and the depth lake card here and this three of wands, I want to say that this is whoever is is in charge of this chariot here or taking this action. This has been their journey. And this could be what you have been witnessing, right? That there has been um a search for truth, perhaps with this two of airs, the two of swords. It's a need to make a decision. It's a need to come to clarity. Um, but with this depth light card here, it's kind of like, okay, I'm seeing it like this. You are witnessing or aware of somebody in your life that you care deeply for that has really been struggling in a situation where they've almost been kind of pushed to the, it's almost like a, uh, What's that called? A, a dark night of the soul, perhaps, with this depth card here. And it just kind of um, really doing maybe a lot of soul searching and or maybe just searching for truth or information in order to overcome this. But something has happened recently where they're now in this three of fire, in the chariot energy. And what's interesting about that, this three of fire, this three of wands, is that this three of wands talks to me about something very, it's a, it's a forward movement or a change in direction that is actually very 
kind of unusual or unexpected. That's been coming through the readings a lot recently with the dragonfly energy. It's like their movement, their vehicle, their, their forward thrust is, it's almost like overcoming incredible odds with this energy here that they were facing incredible odds or challenges and all of a sudden it's like they they're overcoming it in a very unexpected way right and i want to say the unexpected thing that may be happening is that it's like it's like the divine is working through them that could be what that could be what your knowing or your vision is providing you right it's not just the fact that somebody is getting themselves out of a tricky situation and overcoming and, and doing it in a really kind of inventive and unique, maybe even eccentric and unusual way. It's not just that, although I feel like that aspect as well could be really what's, what's sparking you in a beautiful way and feeling like there's all this magic involved here is the fact that it is very, um, it's different, right? It's almost like a spectacle to behold. You see what I'm saying? So part of it is that there, that there is spectacle on display, spectacle on display in, um, in a world or in a situation or environment that hasn't seen a lot of movement or intrigue in some time, right? So there's that aspect of it. It is sparking you and renewing your energy because it is unique and different. And that is a very welcomed energy but also because, like I said, it's almost like you've been on the lookout for this sort of a phenomenon, this sort of phenomenon, this sort of a phenomenon could be talking about the idea of spectacle. It's like you've been keeping an eye out for that spectacle energy because the spectacle energy, I'm not sure if I'm using the right word, spectacle to me is, is talking about an energy that is, um, uh, is well, it's how do I want to describe it? Spectacle to me kind of gets everybody to stop in their tracks and turn and witness, right? It is something out of the ordinary that breaks routine, which is kind of what's happening here in this energy. It's like you've been in this um, daily grind in this very, uh, um, long lasting routine energy, you know, it could just be like going to work every day. Every day your, your life is, is somewhat like the day before, like most of us are, whatever this is, it's a disruption to that pattern and it's unexpected. And it's, I want to say it's almost like breathtaking and beautiful or intriguing. You see what I'm saying? At least for you, Virgo. And it could be because of this aspect, because you're seeing within it, some sort of an indication, some sort of a, the way the light is moving or the way the spirit is moving through this one that is telling you that this is, it's, it's bigger than, than just them, which is indicated by the fact that it has the spectacle energy in it. It's almost like the spectacle energy is kind of like, it is divine energy in action, right? That's why it's so magnetic. Perhaps it's like, that's why it draws everybody around it like, like a bright light, right? So Virgo's super excited. It's like you want to rush in and share whatever this, this truth energy is, because I want to say that it's like as powerful, as backed up maybe by the universe, this action is as inspiring as it is. There is, it's not that there's something lacking, but there's definitely something that you can bring to it, Virgo. Part of it, of course, is just letting them know that you are supportive of, of their action, of their movement. It's a, kind of got this energy of, it's like, it's really nice to see you kind of showing your true colors. This is what you're saying to your friend, right? Because they've been this, this modest, silent one for so long, and now they are extremely vocal, for example. So it's not just that encouragement and nurturing and supportive energy, but you do have something really key that could, like I said, really set this off in a way that I, find, I think is really important 
to the entire process because it's like they're well on their way. They're backed by the universe. It could even just be that fact itself. The fact that they're backed by the universe or the fact that they are um, kind of that this is divine action working through them. That could be the truth that you are bringing to them, perhaps. I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended and see what else we can find out about this. But I feel like, Virgo, if this is resonating with you, you know exactly what this piece of information or what this message could be that you should bring to this one. It's like you already know what it is. And it's, it's basically emphasizing, it's like this really dramatic exclamation point at the end of this reading saying to you, Virgo, yes, this is essential that this piece be added to the mix. It could just be that it will really kind of fortify their resolve, perhaps. Whatever it is, this is essential. And so it's just, I guess, this entire reading is encouraging you to get that message to this one. Okay, so I'm going to continue to pull cards. I'll see you next time, Virgo. Thanks, bye.